I don't know. I've been going on and on about, you know, some of the happenings as far as the recent elections, regional elections of the MPP. And yes, uh, uh, peace, calm, mostly, uh, predominantly, which is a good thing. But the bit about money and politics is getting worse, worse, worse. And I, I was asking, I don't know whether you heard me before you came on, why would people be willing to expend so much in terms of resources just to get a position to serve the people? It's because of what is in there. It's because of what they will get. And we're just creating a vicious cycle of corruption. I'm sure you follow uh, saloon cars, trucks, money being doled out just to get votes. Um, so that's, that's the story um, in the Daily Graphic, the banner headline, MPP regional elections, 12 chairmen retain positions, new faces for Bulo East, uh, Eastern and Western North. But your quick reflection, even before I get into the details of the story. Well, um, it is good that the elections have been conducted uh, largely peaceful, even though we hear uh, or we heard about a few incidents in certain places. Uh, to a large extent, I think that it was quite peaceful. And uh, I would just want to say congratulations to those who won and better luck to those who couldn't make it. Better luck for them next time. Um, or should course, we say, or should we say, Suleimana, better cash for them next time? Maybe with the right resources, <laughs> they'd be able to cross the line. Well, <laughs> well the, the truth is that our politics is just a money-making venture. Um, so those who go into politics, basically what they are doing or what they are saying is, I'm going to look for money if my party wins. And those um, who are in power... It's about how much wealth they can amass. We all see um, what um, the late Sir John, you know, had been able to acquire within the short period of time that um, he was given the political position. I don't think that anyone can say before he became the CEO of Forestry Commission, he had no house or something like that. But we're talking about, if you look at the houses and when they were acquired, to acquired 2017, 2017, 2018, 2018, 2019, 2019. And I believe that um, if if he was still alive, perhaps the, we would have seen additional houses, maybe additional forest reserves and so on and so forth acquired. And people have said, look, if this is what Sir John made, then there are others whose, whose will will look as, as fat as the Bible or the Quran. And so it's it's just money making. And those who are there, young or old, know that I am going in or I'm into this to make money. It's no longer about serving the country. I, I don't think that um, any of our leaders today is really committed to serving our country. If it were the case, I don't think that we would have been seeing the kind of things that we see today. If President Ekufuado was indeed committed you know, to, to serve in this country in the best of interest. I don't think he'll go and be demolishing houses to construct a cathedral. I don't think that the levels of corruption that we are seeing, we would see it the way, we, the way it is now. I don't think that we will have a minister outside the country for eight months and still hold on to her position as, as minister and a crucial ministry as that of women, children and gender, uh, social protection. So I think it's more about the enjoyment of the power, enjoyment of the money that comes with it, the opportunity to be able to amass wealth and all of that. And so um, those who are happy, they deserve to be happy. It's an opportunity for them to make as much as they can make. Those who are sad because they couldn't make it, I think they are, they are, they are, they are justified in being sad because that's a major loss in terms of how much they could come to make. Uh, and that is the politics that we have for our country. And that is why I keep saying, those of us who are relatively young, we do have a responsibility to, to come together, work together, to make this our country better. I don't think that the betterment of this country is about just a continuous cycle of replacing NDC with MPP, MPP with NDC. Uh, we've, we've seen both parties, and I think it's all about making money. And we know people in the NDC 
who were, you know, occupying certain positions and suddenly the houses they have, the properties they have and so on. So there's nothing different between them and the MPP, except that some of us had hoped that President Ekufuado, given his track record and his, you know, his, his, his stature and what we were made to believe about him would have offered us different leadership. But it, it appears that somehow it's even getting worse. Mm.